We are making a titanium throwing axe today. We're building this axe to the WATL specifications. The blade can't be greater than four inches, the overall axe can't be greater than 19 inches, and the total weight can't be more than three pounds. Right here. Boom, chucka naka. Grade five titanium. Oh, she's a piece of two inch. Two inch. Two inch. That meets two inch. And you can tell from the remnants of the last project we did that the bandsaw is not the tool of choice for cutting. It looks like somebody hacked that off with an angle grinder to preserve the bandsaw blade. So we will entertain the same idea. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video. If this project turns out, I'd like to give it away. So I've cut as far as I can with the zippy disc. I'm gonna cut the rest of it with a hacksaw blade. <laughs> I don't know where my hacksaw is, but I found the blade. So good enough for us today, right? And you're like, no, you can't cut titanium with a hacksaw blade. There you go, two pieces. Told you, told you, told you I could do it. Forging is done. A little disappointed in myself because I don't want to grind more titanium than I need to because it's super hard to grind. And I cut it so close that I'm a little bit uh, out of dimension in this way. So what I did, surprise, surprise, I made another one. And this turned out way better on all fronts. We're gonna try to get the rest of this by grinding. Take a look at the difference between a throwing axe and an axe for splitting wood. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow! This is the Blackhawk axe, right? But this thing is made to, once it gets past the very edge, to split wood wide open. The opposite thing we want with a throwing axe is we want it to not split the wood, we want it to stick. And this is where I think titanium has the attributes we want. It's light, it's strong, it's not as hard as steel, but for a throwing ax, that might be okay. It means you might have to sharpen it a little bit more than say one of these guys, because these are made from steel that are hardened. But the weight, it's light, and you need it to be thin, and titanium is stronger, 
than steel in weight. This is where we're at, and um, we're close. Definitely thicker in the back here, but I've tried to really get this blade as close as I could to the piece of spades in here. The eye's a little bit bigger too, but um, this dimension-wise, actually very close. Going from eye to eye, you can see I got more tail on the back and I got just a whisker hair more in the front. Let's throw it on the scale here. There we go. So we're at 1.13 pounds. This is the steel one, 1.58. Bit cannot be greater than four inches. There you have it. You can see that it's 3.932 of an inch. So we're under four inches just by a wee little bit, but. Hey, that's good enough for me. The one thing that really is uh, hard for me to accept, and there's a good possibility I'm not gonna accept it. I don't know why, I don't know if this line in here, the way this soups back, that's the strength in this corner that helps with axe throwing because to me, aesthetically, I like to roll it like this. I'd really love to see how that would look. Looks so good because this top line curves nice. So there you can see the finished grind profile. I don't know if that's gonna make a better throwing ax, but it sure makes me feel a lot better just because it looks cool. 1.116, so still over one pound. For those of you who want to support the channel, I make these 308 center punch. So it's a center punch that looks like a 308. They're available on my website. And then I also have the big brother, the 50 cal center punch that enables me to keep making these videos for you. My last titanium ax project, I used purple heart for the handle. I think I'm gonna do the same thing again. Uh, the only hesitation on this project is that I'm trying to be as light as I can and the purple heart might be a little bit heavier than hickory. I don't know if that's true though. I do purple heart because with the anodization color I'm hoping to get on the head, 
I think the contrast, the colors are gonna be super cool. We got this all set up here to do the anodizing. 1.118 is the final weight. So I've made up this hook here. This is what the ax is gonna be going through the process on. And this is a titanium rod, degreaser, rinse. This is uh, an etchant to prep the titanium for the anodization. This is called multi-etch. It's in a rice cooker because it's good to have it hot. And this is where the anodization ha will happen. Instead of running around the neighborhood collecting all the car batteries, I bought a variable voltage power supply. We should be able to get any color in the anodizing spectrum, which I'm very excited about. And then a final rinse. Step one. Rinse. Does this even fit in the hole? Uh, yes. This will be interesting to see if that works. That, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta let that sit longer. And now we will go into here. I don't have a set color. I just wanna play, you know what I mean? Okay, I got it set at pretty much 12 volts just as a fun spot to start. And we'll see if this works. Um, Okay, just let that cook. Stuff is happening in there. We're just gonna lift it up and see what we got here. Oh, super cool. Oh, yes, that worked awesome. Okay, so that's 12 volts. It's a beautiful gold. It looks like it's a temper straw color. Very cool. So we're gonna just play now, and I'm gonna take my sweet time, because this is fun. There at 15 volts, just a little bit more gold. Okay, let's see what 20, Bolts looks like. So it's like transitioning from that gold to the purple. That's 25 volts. Oh, wow. Ooh, that is crazy good purple. Wow, this is so cool. This is 35. Out of the purple with a tinge of it, but into the blue. Good enough to plateau, I can't wait. I gotta see what 51 volts looks like. It's like a really light blue, like a baby blue. So it's like a greeny, bluey, yellowy. Not a desirable color there. All right, this is 63. It's like a yellowy green. It still didn't quite go all the way through. Now that is some crazy titanium. You can tell there's like a pocket in the middle there. It needs to, I guess, maybe sit longer to get that even color. Wow. Oh my goodness. So we're close to 70. Oh, I did it! Yes! 
Oh, guys, check that out. Okay, wait, I don't want to kill myself here. Oh, we've got that flame kind of shape. Look at that. Woo! Do we leave it or do we keep going, you know? Oh, shoot. Dang, now it. That was me frying this thing. Because I touched the, uh... <laughs> Shouldn't be touching that one in there. That's a direct short. All right, so we're at 75 volts here. Wow, that blue is so cool on the bottom. Looks very good. This um, middle spot, though, I don't know why. That's getting worse and worse. This is the problem, though. This spot here... I th I don't know what that is from. I'm guessing it's just because I've been in the anodizing process for so long. Uh, it's on both sides and this side is worse. So what I'm going to try to do, I think, is we are going to re-etch this, clean it up. I'm going to slam it in at 50 volts to try to get this gold color back here. And then I'm going to try to ramp it up and then just do a manual feather. Wow, that worked. That worked. Whoa. That is some trick right there. What a crazy difference from yesterday. Like, whoa! Like, this is so cool. It works so much better. Uh, I could not control the gradient as much because it was so fast. I don't think I need to worry about that though. I think that's insanely cool right there. What this thing actually looks like. Oh man, oh, I'm getting it dirty with my gloves. No! That's wild, man. That is wild. Wow. Perfect. I could not be happier on how that wedged up because I don't want any glue residue on the anodized titanium. I'm going to let this dry like this and then I'll cut that off as short as I can go and then we're pretty much done this bad boy. Before I throw that titanium axe, I thought maybe I should practice a little because I've actually never thrown an axe before. <laughs> While we're doing that, I'm going to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace is the one-stop shop for all your website creating needs. If you need to build a website, think Squarespace. Oh! Okay. I got this. I'm glad that wasn't the titanium app. So whatever website you need, gallery, blog, portfolio, Squarespace has award-winning templates that are simple to use, fluid engine, you can drop and drag, move whatever you need to create that exactly perfect website. Oh, yeah! Get your domain name right at Squarespace, connect your Square Reader to your Squarespace app, make that transaction happen. Ah, man! Squarespace.com slash TimD. They'll give you 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. I do believe we have her beat here. I'm gonna take off this tape. And let's check this thing out.
doing the uh, final way in here. So this is the Ace of Spades, which is the axe that I kind of modeled the titanium one off of, just zeroing the scale. Put it to pounds here. All right, so that's zero pounds. Just using that little block of steel to support that. Okay, so this axe weighs 2.186 pounds. And now let's see what the final weight is with the titanium. So it's 1.736 pounds with the handle and head and everything. So you can go up to three pounds, but we wanted to be as light as we can. That's where, that's where she is. All right, I don't see how I can procrastinate on this anymore. We're gonna throw this thing. You've seen it, right? You've seen it. You've seen the close-ups. All right, we're gonna give this a shot. Now, yeah, we just, okay, I gotta throw it, I gotta throw it. Put a lot of time into this, you know it's hard. <sighs> Guarantee this is not gonna stick. Yes! I got it. I threw it. That was actually awesome. Oh, she's a beauty. Yes, it did. Okay, I gotta do it again. Okay! Stop! Yes! Yeah! That's three for three! I don't care if I hit the bullseye. I haven't hit the concrete yet. Yes! It actually goes. It goes good. Not that I really know what I'm talking about. Yes! Oh, guys, what do we do? Do I just keep throwing? Or not? I don't know. I'm thinking about stopping there. Because it... Wow, it actually goes in really deep compared to this steel one. Get some light here. It is maybe dulled a whisker hair different on the top, but it's still really sharp. It's really sharp. I threw it. I threw it five times. I can keep throwing it and it's gonna hit the ground. It's gonna get scratched. I can't tell you if it's better than a steel ax because I haven't swung a steel ax enough to know. Like, that's just the reality of it is. I'm not an ax thrower. I think what I'm gonna do is instead of keep throwing it for the fun of it, and evidently it getting scratched, I think I'd rather give it away to one of you. And then you can throw it and you can scratch it. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Responsibility is off my plate. <laughs> what do you think? Put a lot of time into it though. It would be pretty cool to keep it. Let's do it. I'm gonna give it away to one of you. Please consider subscribing. I'm not gonna run the giveaway in the comment section because apparently there's people who like to spam and that's total. I'm gonna use a link down below in the description of this video to enter the giveaway to win this. Let's do it like that. Check out the link below if you wanna get a chance to win it. Wait, get it in the light. It's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. And I look forward to seeing you next one. Till then. Keep the forge lit.